Good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So having a quick look at the US 30 there, you can see we had a bullish engulfing pattern yesterday, uh, followed up by a slight little green candle this morning. Uh, looking at the tips of these candles, you might have short term potential resistance at 17914. Longer term potential resistance remains at 18.112. Even though we did have slightly disappointing data come out of the US yesterday, um, you can see the PMI data came in at 48.6. Anything below 50 is a contraction. This is the lowest number since uh, June 2009. Forecast of 50.5, so that is seen to be a bit of a disappointment. Then having a look at the UK 100, it's breaking through potential resistance at 64.15 off the session lows, but we have the tips of these candles to break above before we're able to remotely rechallenge uh, 6590 and change. But we're on the right side of that level right now, above both moving averages, the other technicals are relatively neutral and the slow stochastic has just gone into overbought territory. Uh, other commodity markets relatively flat, so the UK market looks kind of interesting right now. Moving swiftly on to Japan 225, bullish engulfing pattern yesterday, a failure to break higher so far this morning. 20,087 remains unbroken. As you can see there, slow stochastic has been overbought for pretty much a month and a half. Same with the RSI and the MACD is kind of flattening out. So uh, a failure to break through here longer term uh, does open up uh, vulnerability on the Japan 225, but they still have monetary policy potentially in their back pocket, so I don't expect it to be anything too aggressive. Looking at dollar yen, dollar yen's flattening out again, around about 123 and change. Not much to report there. Other technicals on that FX pair are pretty flat. Moving again on to West Texas crude, um, it's flatlining again a little bit as well. Um, a doji formation yesterday shows indecision, very tight trading range this morning. Uh, potential resistance $42, we're currently at 40 spot 70. Longer term potential support 37.50. And today does bring us ADP private payrolls. Uh, in the US and we do also have uh, the weekly petroleum crude inventory data and that's at 3.30 UK time, ADP private payrolls quarter past one UK time. So then looking at gold, uh, gold uh, didn't really manage to bust through 1,072 yesterday off the session lows, uh, moving ever so slightly lower this morning as well uh, with 1,072 potentially being quite a strong potential resistance level. Um, so far, gold's unable to break through. So moving on to euro dollar, uh, we actually had quite a big bounce yesterday as the USD took a little bit of a breather before we get into some of the other uh, macro data releases between today, tomorrow and Friday. You've got the ECB tomorrow, you do have um, non-farm payrolls on Friday, that's obviously going to be a big one. The ISM numbers last night took a little bit of heat out of the US dollar, a bit weak. Basically, it doesn't really impact potentially that uh, December rate hike, but what it could do is affect the trajectory because anything below 50 is a contraction, so it's not really great to get 48.2. But that's why we've seen a bit of a, uh, a bit of a spike higher on the euro. But then again, it's not really followed through that much so far this morning. Finishing off with uh, GBP USD, very ugly candle yesterday actually, where uh, the sterling had spiked higher only to get pushed all the way back down again. So that's pretty ugly from a technical perspective. Uh, it's not really moved that much lower uh, aggressively this morning, but we are trading between two ranges. One spot 51.10 as potential resistance and one spot 50.27 as potential support. So economic data today, as we mentioned, ADP today on to Thursday, loads of PMI data, retail sales, employment claims and uh, PMI from uh, the US. And don't forget, you do have the ECB meeting tomorrow uh, and that's going to be at 12.45 UK time. Make sure you don't miss that. That is going to be very, very important. You've got the press conference and everything else like that. That's when they're going to talk about the, uh, are they going to do monetary stimulus? Are they going to cut rates, QE, everything else? And then Friday, obviously, is non-farm payrolls. Make sure you go to support, go to live trader events, and sign up for Michael Houston and um, Colin Strakinski's regular monthly non-farm payrolls webinar. That promises to be an exciting session. So keep your eye on the chart forum, guys. Keep, make sure that Insights is part of your layout. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.